a huge theme throughout the seven books and, and, and the films. Um, Dumbledore expressed it right at the beginning of the series, at the end of Philosopher's Stone, when he said, Harry says he's not gone. And Dumbledore says, no, but if the next person fights him and the next person fights him, you know, we can keep him down. And that goes to the heart, really, of the series, which is the question, why fight? Why fight? We accept the inevitability of evil in the world and we accept that things can't always be fair. We accept that things will never be perfect. Why fight? Why fight? And that's a question that all of the characters answer in their different ways. And some characters say, I'm not fighting. I have to accept the inevitable. And other characters say, I will fight till I die to make the world a better place, to save a friend, you know, and that, that, I suppose that's what the final battle is about. They do it perfectly in the film. They really, they, and that was that was a um, place where I was very glad they were faith, faithful to the book because um, Snape's journey is so is so important and such a linchpin of the books. And the plot can't function without Snape. But he's much more than just a conduit for information. He is he's an interesting character, and he is. I, I think all of my characters, without exception, Harry included, are flawed. Um, I don't think we have a single wholly good or wholly bad person, with the exception of, of Voldemort. I mean, he is wholly bad. There's no redemption there. Walking into the Great Hall in 2000, maybe, was it? I think it must have been about 2000 was the first time I did that. It was amazing. It was wonderful. It was exactly, but exactly as I had imagined it. And um, Chris Columbus and Stuart Craig, I talked to them uh, about how I saw it, and they had just... God, they've done such a magnificent job. I actually didn't want to see 